Comedy's leading ladies have been besties for over 20 years since they met at an improv class in Chicago back in 1992. We were in a van driving from Chicago to like Waco, Texas to do comedy gigs for $75 a night. Tina landed a role on Saturday Night Live, and after years of asking her to come on board, Amy finally joined the cast in 2001. They became an unstoppable force as the first female co-anchors for Weekend Update. So I'm saying it's not too late, Texas and Ohio, get on board. Bitch is the new black! Tina Fey, <laughs> Tina wrote the screenplay for her first feature film, Mean Girls, in 2004, and Amy was there to support her BFF and even had a small role in the movie. I'm really proud of her. It's a great movie, and I'm just really happy to be a part of it. Then the two co-starred in Baby Mama in 2008. We really got to screw around a lot on set, and um, it was nice to work with someone that you knew so well. For us to be here, I think it's a really special moment in both of our lives, um, and it's, yeah, I'm thrilled to be able to share that with her. But they took their friendship to an epic level in 2013. They hosted the Golden Globes, and it was perfection. Those of you at home, I wish you could feel the excitement in this room. You can smell the pills from here. <laughs> and then they did it again in 2014. We are hosting the Golden Globes for our second time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Because uh, this is Hollywood, and if something kind of works, they'll just keep doing it until everybody hates it. And yes, they'll be back in 2015, so we can all look forward to more moments like this. We got drunk Glenn closest. <laughs> and this. I very much hope that I win. Thank you. You're my nemesis. Thank you. We all need a friendship like this. We love you, Tina and Amy. For ET Now, I'm Denny Directo.